Hello everybody, this is Stuart and today we are having a look at how to build the wheels that we use for our curious kits and this is what they look like. So it's a pretty simple wheel, it's made out of cardboard but we have pre-cut it round so that it rolls nicely and we use these for a bunch of different kits like our TerraSail windsurfer kit and our elastic powered car. So this short little video shows us how to make these guys. Right, so what are you gonna need? Well, your kit that you have should have all of these components that I'm showing you over here and I'll tell you what they are. So this is the preform that we use for the jig to make sure that our tires are um, made and they are straight. Otherwise they, they wobble when they roll and that's not cool. Then we've got our tire strips. So this is again also something that's cut as a solid piece, but we're gonna separate them and then each one of these becomes the tire part and the grip part of our wheel. So that rolls around like that and goes on the outside. Then we've got our wheel discs and each wheel uses two of these so that it gives it some, some thickness. Then we've got some elastic bands and this is what we use to secure the tire strip in place while the glue is drying. Talking about glue, we have a little syringe full of, it's basically just wood glue. And then we have a skewer, which is going to form the, the axle that we use, but we really use this for the jig. Right, what you will need other than that is just a pair of scissors. So we'll use that to cut our skewer just now. Right, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you need to separate your um, jig. And this is, as I said before, what we use to make sure that our wheels are glued straight. So once you've separated them, we're going to take them and slot them into each other. And this is important. It needs to get through nice and straight and pushed all the way down so that these edges are as flush as possible. So don't push it too far. You want that to be flat. Now, this has been cut in a special way with my laser cutter, and it ensures that these edges are at 90 degrees to this section over here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our skewer, and we're going to slot it into the middle of that hole over there, down the flute, and we're gonna push it all the way in. You're gonna twist it a little bit. It needs to slot into the other side okay and if it doesn't want to go through and you're pushing it um, it might be that the flutes are not aligning and so that is probably deep enough for us and if you want to you can take a pair of scissors and mark it all the way around once you've got a mark you can just snap it off and there our jig is complete right so what we're going to do with this is make sure that when we glue these together the holes are perfectly aligned above one another so that when we glue it together and it needs to spin when it sits on that axle it's going to be sitting at the right angle so it's not going to be sitting like that it's going to be sitting perfectly straight okay so there's our jig that's step number one Step number two is taking two of our tire discs. And if you have a look at the cardboard itself, it's got a smooth side and it's got a side where there are lines that you can see. This, this paper that they've um, stuck on this side of the cardboard is slightly thinner and lower grade than this one. This is the, the outside of that cardboard sheet. So when I glue them together, I like to make sure that those two lines are on the inside because then um, we've got the nicer edge of the cardboard sitting on the outside because aesthetics are important. And then the other thing that before I start gluing them, I'm just going to make note of it is that using these lines, we're going to show that the flutes, when we stick it together, the flutes, which are the little zigzag sections on, on the cardboard, the one, um, the direction of the flutes is going to be this way and the other one is going to be that way. So one is going to be horizontal, one is going to be vertical, and that's going to ensure that we get the strongest and most stable wheel possible. Okay, so 
let's glue these together. We're going to take our glue stick and we're going to pull the little um, wooden peg out. And when you're gluing, you don't need to use a huge amount of glue, but you also don't want to use too little. So we're going to take some of that glue out and we're just going to rub it all the way around. Try and keep it away from the, the center hole. Um, and going all the way around, take it all the way to the edge. Okay. And you want a nice even coverage. But again, you can see I've, I've hardly used more than half a milliliter of glue there. From there, we're going to take this and we're going to stick it onto our jig and make sure that it's pushed up nice and flush on that jig. Look at the direction of the flutes. Okay, so the direction is going this way. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to make sure that my flutes are going at 90 degrees to that and then slot it onto the hole in the middle, push it through, slide it all the way down and then when you push it on just give it a little bit of a wiggle so that the glue gets nicely spread and even and then you can take it just don't crush the flutes just give it a, a little bit of a um, press together so that it glues together nicely and ensure again that it's pushed down properly onto the jig so that our wheel is perfectly straight on that axle. Okay, so that is gluing the two discs together and we're almost done with this wheel. The last thing that we need to do is glue this strip on. Now there's two ways we could do this. We could put the glue on here but because the flutes are not, like there's no real flat surface there, that's going to be difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the glue on this strip. But if you look at the strip, it's not the same width as the two discs. It's, it's thicker than the two discs. So when we glue it, we want to only put glue on, it's about two thirds of this side of the strip here. So the glue sets, because the, the, the cardboard sucks the water out of the glue, um, when you're using wood glue and cardboard, it dries very quickly. Um, but we still want to give it some time, but I'm going to pull it off the, the jig. Try not to, to sort of push it or bend it um, at this stage because the glue is not completely dry yet. So we're going to put that down on a nice flat surface. I'm going to take our glue again and run a strip from the edge all the way down about a third of the way along that strip all the way from the top to the bottom and make sure that you've got your small elastic band handy before you start this. Ah, going off the camera there. Right, so you've got that strip on. Put that little peg back in there. Go in. Right, now on a flat surface you're going to take this strip, you're going to stick it all the way around until the two ends meet and they've been cut to exactly the right length that you need it. And you can see that you've got a little bit of the glue um, sticking out the edges, that's okay. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky and you might need to have somebody help you with this. But we're gonna take this elastic band and we're gonna slip it over and use that to hold the strip in place while the glue sets. But now, we're also not sure, if you have a look here, that's not straight. So this is where you put it down on a flat surface again. You push the inside of this tire down all the way around so that it pushes pushes this flush along the edge there. You can see now it's nice and straight and it's not sticking out anywhere. You can run your finger along this to just smooth any of the glue that might be squeezed out on the edges. It's water-based glue so I wouldn't recommend getting it on your clothes but you can wash it off your hands pretty easily. And there we have our first wheel that is stuck together and when it's dried the glue will will not, will not look white anymore. It dries clear and you've got your first wheel. So when you've done this you're going to repeat it four times and there you have all the wheels that you need for building your car.